hello welcome back to our farm stack project now i'm on my vs code now i want to create a folder that will contain our backend and our front end folder so i'm on users and users on my python so i normally create my python files on my python folder so let's make a directory and call it uh just to make it a directory let's call it a farm stack okay and then we want to cd farm stack yes and then inside farm stack we want to make a directory and call it backend Let's call it backend. I mean backend. Okay, good. Now let's go to the backend. Okay. Now let's open this folder. Okay. I think it's here, farm stack, and this one here, backend. I just don't say first. Yes, I trust them. Okay, now good. So we are inside our backend folder now. Let's let us create a file here, a, a quality requirement.txt. Requirements requirements dot txt okay good now let's put our requirements first of all we're going to need first api api and this should be version uh, let's put 0 0.65 point 0.1 and then again let's put uvcon And this should be version 0 0.14.0. 0. Then, sorry here, yes. And then we should have motor. And this should be version. 2.4.0 so this motto is the full featured mongodb driver which works with python so this helps us to integrate mongodb with python okay now let us let's let's save this okay now let us Activate our virtual environment. First of all, we need to install it. People install virtual env. Okay, requirement is satisfied. I have already virtual environment in my folder. Okay, now let us create our virtual environment by writing virtual env and then let's call virtual env and call it env okay okay now good our virtual environment is created let's first go let's not navigate first to our, our our virtual environment so cd vnv okay now let's activate
Okay, good. Now, if you see this, it means that your virtual environment is activated. So, if you can see this, make sure that your virtual environment is activated, then you'll be good to go. Okay, after activating our virtual environment now, let us go ahead and install the requirement.txt. Okay, just a little problem here. We need to go back one step. Yeah, and then we install our, our requirements.txt. Just one step back. Okay, now everything is installing. Okay, everything is installed. Now, I will need to create three files here. So the first one will be main.py. Okay, the other one I'm going to need is a model.py. And the last one is going to be database.py. Okay, good. Now, let's go to the main and start to build our farm stack project. Okay. Now we are inside the main.py folder. First of all, let's, Im let's import first API. So from just from first API, first API, let's import. first api okay this is our first Im import and let us import also a middleware so from first api dot middleware okay middleware dot calls and then with import calls middleware okay good now you may you may be wondering this cause middleware stands for cross original source sharing and cause mainly refers to the situation that if you have this front-end client running in a web browser and it is natural javascript code communicates with your backend server so for our case it communicates with your our first api backend and in this case the backend has a different origin from the front end and that origin is just a combination of protocol and we can say it's just a combination of protocol domain and the port for example for the protocols we may have the http https uh, the domain we may have the local host and the port might be any port so interactive from our front end to our back end will need these permissions this is what we are going to to do so let's just write up then equals to first api uh, and then brackets Okay, after doing this, here uh, also I want to specify the origins. So in this, it's going to be the local host and it's going to be on port 3000 for the connection between the back end and our front end. So we are going to define the origins. Should be equal to so this is a list okay so this should be equal to http and go then localhost and then it's going to take port 3000 okay so just a string 
this is just a string okay now let's go and save this let's take our object and add the middleware so let's take up dot add underscore middleware okay so let's add this i need a, i think i need to just to copy this from somewhere to save time so guys you, you just you don't, you don't need to claim this but what i want to show that is that we need to allow the origins also we need to allow the credentials to be true and we, did, we need to allow that we are now need to allow the headers and the methods this star here represent that all should be set and all the methods should be set and all the headers should be set should be set now now let's just go ahead and create our basic route so let's just write up i mean we should start with an art up and then dot get then this should be the first route so we we'll go with the slash and then we need to we need to define our first function but this function is going to be a, a synchronous function so we define it and let's give it a name with root okay as normally define our functions and this root function should be should return a let's call it let's say it should turn a message and this message should be like say should be like hello world okay so now let's go ahead and save this now let's check that if the our page is learning correctly so how are we going to run our server from this here so to run our app let me just clear this so to run our app we need to write uvcon then we need to specify our main then colon then app you can learn it like this way but we need to make sure that when we save something it should reload so we are dash dash reload then good okay now as you can see that uvcon is learning and our app is learning on port 8 so let's go let's copy this or we can follow the link and see if we can see hello world let's go to our browser let's paste this here oh good now we can see we have hello world here so guys if you are able to see hello world on your browser this means that you are good to go and you are closer to what we are going to build so however you can let's go to our browser here if you go you go to slash docs you can see there is a swagger here this is a this is the good thing about using fast api it has it is on only swagger ui and then it's like a documentation so as you can see that this is our root function we defined and it returns a string so okay this is it but to be clear this is useless 
we are just able to print the herald okay and we are we are just we just needed to see if our server is running so thank you for watching and see you on another